Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today is episode two of Lynn's Coffee Corner. So excuse the way I look today, I have absolutely no makeup on, my hair's still damp from the shower. Um, I just got back from Bush Gardens, it's my last day of uh, my work vacation, I start back up tomorrow, so I wanted to really enjoy my last day, so me and David went out to Bush Gardens, and I did vlog a little bit, and I will be putting together that vlog very soon, that way you guys can see exactly what we did, and how much fun it was, and we just spent the whole day there, and it was great. Uh, some good coffee. <laughs> my hair is a mess! <sighs> So for today's um, coffee corner session, um, it's the new year, it's 2017, 2016 is gone, and it went by so, so fast, I can't even, I can't even imagine, like, how fast the time went, and now that we're in 2017, I want it today to be about um, my goals. And it's very helpful to set goals in the beginning of the year. And last year, I did set a couple goals for myself, and I didn't live up to it at all. I was good for probably, like, for a good month last year, and up until February. And it's just like, I can't go longer than a couple months stuck to a routine. And I know that it takes 21 days consistent um, a consistent 21 days to build a habit, and I don't know, like, I just couldn't stick to it last year, and it felt so bad, and I always get so disappointed in myself. I always get disappointed that I can't accomplish something, uh, or I'll set out to do something, and I can't do it, or I, or I don't accomplish it right away, and that's just how I am. I don't know if any of you guys are like that out there, but that's how I am. I, I, have a goal, I want to stick to it, and whenever I fail, it's like the most devastating thing in the world to me. So, this year, I set out a couple goals for myself, and I'm going to be crossing my fingers, hoping and praying, and just asking for guidance, and really, I, I really want to accomplish these goals, not just, not for anyone else, but mainly for me, because I want to accomplish them so bad, and when I actually sat down, I wrote a little list here, when I actually sat down to write this list, I thought that I would have like 10 things, like 10 what you would call New Year's resolutions, and it turns out that I could only narrow it down to like a couple of areas that I really felt that in my heart I really needed to change these areas. So I really encourage you guys to do the same. It's life changing and set some goals for us in the new year. And for my first one, this is the first one that really came to my mind and it was dedicate more time to you guys, to this family, to this rapidly growing family and dedicating more time to bringing better content to you guys in my videos, taking the time to edit, taking the time to film, taking the time to talk to you guys. Because what we have here is a family, relationships, and there's no way to grow relationships without attending to them. You can't expect to have a best friend without talking to that person, without building that friendship, without finding things in common. So I'm going to strive very hard this year to dedicate as much time as I possibly, possibly can that I have in the day to be able to deliver that for you guys. So you guys are actually my number one goal this year is to be able to reach out to you guys, to be able to um, bring more videos, to talk to you guys and everything. So basically, and, and grow this family, expand it, you know, it's great to have everything to ourselves, but the goal is to, you know, share it with others, share this happiness in this family with other people. So this is my number one goal. And along with that comes time management. I do have a full-time job. Um, YouTube is something I love to do for fun. And 
with my full-time job comes full-time responsibilities and you guys know that those of you that are working um working parents you have your family you have your kids and you know um you have your job you have responsibilities you have bills to pay and everything so um i need to have really good time management i really do and i'm gonna make sure to um work on that this year because there's a most of the things that I have on my list to work on all involve time management of some some way or another so I'm gonna make sure I work on that I really want to work on that so if anyone else has time management on their list you're not alone I'm with you so my second one and it is one of the most important ones it's getting fit guys I I have been on and off with my weight and not just it's not just about the number on the scale it really isn't it's how I feel and how I want to look and how my health is very important it's not about oh getting skinny it's about getting healthy and I've been on and off up and down with my weight. Um, I'm not as heavy as I used to be um, just a couple years ago, but I am not where I should be. And I know that your body changes and you tend to, you know, gain more weight and carry weight and fat in certain areas that you didn't that you didn't before. In high school, I was my I was at my fit like I was my most fit in at the end of high school. I was overweight in the middle of high school. In my senior year, I started weightlifting. I started um, cardio. I was actually exercising in school because I took a weightlifting class, and it forced me to work out every single day. It forced me to have to make that commitment and do it every day because I was there. I dressed out. I, you know, got to work, and and that's like really something I need to work on and then when I graduated started college I was still fit my first year and a half of college because you know I made the time to go to the gym on my own but I started working working late night shift studying during the day going to school during the day um, doing homework all like basically responsibilities came into play and I know that's not an excuse because everyone always tells me you're just coming up with excuses and and they tell people have told me this in a very harsh way which I appreciate uh, sometimes you need to say it very harshly but sometimes uh, you have to be understanding as well that there are so, there's only so many hours in the day I wish I had two more hours every day because in those two hours I can spend working out and but that has to do with time management. And now that I am not in school anymore, I graduated, I have my full-time job, now I have extra time. And I need to fit that in. And it's, and it's something I have to do. I'm not where I should be. I'm not where I used to be. I know what it's like to be fit. I know what it's like to be healthy. The thing is, I know the feeling. That's the thing. It's not like someone who's losing weight for the first time and struggling and you know um, I know what it's like to be there I know what it's like to look your best feel your best and then not be there is really hard not only that you know I'm getting married soon and I want to be able to look my best and feel my best on that day and I'm not fitting into the dress like most women do I, there's no way I'm doing that. I'm tailoring the dress to fit me, but the me that I want to tailor is not ready yet. You get what I'm saying? So my second goal is to really just get into shape. Uh, I'm going to start tomorrow. I'm going to watch what I eat. I'm going to manage my food consumption. I'm going to limit, you know, snacking, limit everything, and stop eating emotionally and get my get a grip of myself I've been too long into this whatever it's called you know I, I've been too long into this and you know what I'm gonna do I was thinking about this as well not only am I going to be doing these coffee corner um like 
little chit chats, but I want to do a vlog of my fitness process. I want to vlog my, um, what's it called? My, I forgot the name of it. It's a, your progress. I want to vlog my progress and maybe it's something that you guys would like to see if it's helpful to you. Um, because if it is, that'd be awesome because we're all struggling with this. I'm struggling with it. And the hard thing about it is that I'm very short. So if I was only like five, if I was five three, because I'm 4'9", I, I have never, I've never made it to five feet ever in my life and I'm never going to. If I was like 5'3", the weight that I am now, it wouldn't be an issue. I wouldn't be overweight. Um, technically, according to the doctor, I am overweight. Um, but because I am so short and compressed, everything goes this way instead of that way, and I am technically overweight. And most people will be like, well, how, how much do you weigh? When I tell them, they're like, oh, wow, I wish I was that size. I'm like, well, the problem that you're not seeing is that you are taller, so everything just kind of distributes a little bit better. I am shorter, which means that everything distributes this way. And, yeah, so I am so determined to do this this year. I started in the beginning of last year, stopped in February, and that was the worst thing I ever did. That really was. It was the worst thing I could ever do. So those are mainly my two goals, honestly. Dedicating more time to you guys, to this family, a lot of time management, and getting fit and getting healthy. Um, getting my life back together in that sense where I have my job put together, I have my finances put together, everything else is in its place except for my weight, except for my uh, health, how I feel. And it's never about the size, guys. It really isn't. I am not a person that is obsessed with the number on the scale. I love the way I feel. And if I don't feel good, and I am tired all the time, and I can't even like run from here to there without like almost passing out, then there's a problem, and I'm only 24. Like that to me is shocking. Um, just the other day, I just kind of ran, you know, from one store to another or whatever, and I practically died. And I realized at that moment, I was like, this is not right. I shouldn't feel this way. I shouldn't. I, I shouldn't feel any of this because I'm young. There's still time. So those are my two goals and I I'm gonna be I'm gonna do that. I really am. So resolutions for twenty seventeen, you guys, and getting fit. Please let me know if you would like to see fitness vlogs. I you know, I would love to film them only if you guys want to see them. So um I am totally okay with that, and that's basically it. So thank you for joining me in this little coffee corner session. I know it wasn't super, super long, but that's okay. Um, it, it'll be all right. Our next one, will um, it, it can be longer if you guys want to, but um, that's basically it. I just wanted to come on very quickly and let you guys know what's been going on. What are my resolutions for 2017? And I cannot wait for what this year has in store for us. I really, I'm so excited of whatever opportunities come my way. All right, so I love you guys, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.